is my hobby. The story began last autumn. Mr. Grant Parker, a wealthy art collector, had called me and asked me down to his country place for the weekend. Fifteen minutes later, I picked up my good friend, Inspector Noah Danton, and we were on our way to Woodsville, the small country town where Parker spent his summer. So, uh, we're going down to see this Grant Parker, who says he's a new Mr., uh, a new Mr., uh, what's the thing you call him, Bart? A new Miss Mattis, Inspector. Is that good? <laughs> well, a new Miss Mattis, Inspector, is a man who collects coins. Who doesn't? Uh, personally, I prefer collecting the folding kind of doll. New metallurgy inspector is somewhat different than merely collecting money. Oh? Uh-huh. Some rare coins, mitted at a value of, uh, say, 50 cents, are sold for as high as $10,000. You don't say! And I understand that Grant Parker has an equally valuable coin in his collection. It's called a Maria Teresa Toller from the island of Matsura. Well, well... Say, Bart. Yes, Inspector. Doesn't it ever hurt to know so much? <laughs> now, don't you take it seriously, Inspector. I looked that information up before we left headquarters. Why? Because Grant Parker explained to me over the phone that he believes one of his weekend guests is planning on stealing that coin. Now you're talking my language. What gave him that idea? Because last night, Parker was knocked unconscious while working on his study. And the coin was stolen, eh? No, but the room was ransacked. Fortunately, Parker had taken pains to find a good hiding place for the coin. Yeah, but not so good that the thief can't eventually find it, eh? Yes, that's right, Inspector. Oh, Inspector, hmm? we are to pretend we're merely guests. Parker told no one of the attempted theft, and he doesn't want his guests to know our real purpose in being there. Good idea. <laughs> This is the place. Okay. Here's the gate right here. Well, how do you like that? The driveway gate is closed. And locked, too, if that padlock means anything. Yeah. Did you say that Parker expected it? Yes, yeah, so well, he probably has some reason for wanting to keep the automobiles out. Shut off the motor, Inspector. We'll walk the rest of the way. Yeah. yeah. Walking's out of my line. I wonder how far it is to the house. Oh, it can't be a great ways. There's a small door here beside the gate that seems to be unlocked. This guy Parker must expect an invasion. Iron gates and ten-foot brick walls. Say, isn't that a house up there through the trees? Yes, I believe it is. Let's go. It's kind of pretty around here, all these trees and everything. Hey, what's that? Duck and sir! Holy stuff and cats, what was it? A boomerang. A what? There it goes, behind that clump of bushes. Come on, Inspector, let's find out what this is all about. Here you two, what are you doing? There he is. Yes, I see him. What the deuce are you two doing running around here? This is private property, I'll have you know. And we'll have you know we don't like being targets for boomerangs. Where is it? Where's what? The boomerang. Boomerang? What the deuce are you talking about? You know darn well what we're talking about. Inspector, I, huh? since the boomerang seems to have disappeared, suppose we introduce ourselves and explain what happened. Well, who are you? I'm Barton Drake, and this is Inspector Noah Danton. Drake? Danton? Never heard of you. Huh. We're here at the request of a Mr. Grant Parker. Nonsense. You... I'm Grant Parker, and I requested nothing of the sort. You are Grant Parker? Of course. Now get out of here, or I'll call the police. <laughs> How do you like that? I don't like it, Inspector. Mr. Parker... Someone called me this afternoon, said he was Grant Parker, and asked me and Inspector Danton down here for the weekend. Why, that's preposterous. Now, look here, you two. I don't know what your game is, but I... Good gosh, what's that? Someone's in trouble. Come on, this Inspector. Way. I see them over here. Yes, there's two of them. Gary, come away. Gary, what are you yelling about? Good heavens. Jump in, Judas. Look at that guy on the ground. Yes, he's practically decapitated. Uh-oh. So... Yeah, I see. The boomerang and covered with blood. Charity, in heaven's name, how did it happen? I... I don't know. I was coming along the path and... Found him. Perhaps you can tell us how it happened, Grant. Me? Last you, Monty, what are you suggesting? Yes. Why, you miserable young pup? Yeah, yeah, come, 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 come. Break it up. Who are you? The police. The police? Yeah, convenient, isn't it, to have the police right down the spot when a murder is committed. Now, suppose we ask a few questions. Parker, who's the dead man? None of your business. 
I've already told you to get off my property. If you don't, I'll... You've told us too much already. All three of your suspects. Now, smarten up, wise guy, and look here. Are you accusing me of... Well, let's not make things any more difficult than we can help. Well, now... The the dead man is some gentleman. He... He was a guest of ours. Of whose? Mine and Mr. Parker. I'm Mrs. Parker, and this gentleman is Marty Osgood. He's a guest, too, I suppose? Oh, yes. Now, may we all go up to the house, please, you rather think. Oh, you could. Keep your hands off my wife, Osgood. As for you two, I don't know who you are, and I don't believe you're the police. I order you to get off my property. Just a minute, Mr. Parker. All this blustering doesn't impress us in the least. Why? There's been a murder committed here. Whoever called on the telephone anticipated it. Neither the inspector nor I are leaving until we find out just what this is all about. <laughs> But sitting here in this room and waiting isn't getting us anywhere. It will, Inspector, if you can just control yourself. Yeah? What do you expect to happen? The murderer going to walk in here and give himself up? Mm, perhaps not the murderer, but I am expecting a visitor. Who? We'll know in a minute, Inspector. In fact, we'll know in less than a minute. Oh, hello, Mr. Parker. Come in. We've been expecting you. Expecting me? Yes. Are you quite sure our conversation here can't be overheard? Positive. Look here, Drake, why do you ask that? Isn't that your chief concern? Didn't you want to wait until we could get someplace where we could talk freely? Yes, as a matter of fact, I did. Though I'm blamed if I can figure how you knew it. That's unimportant. The point is, it was you who called me this morning, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Well, I'll be... You mean you were putting on an act out there in the woods? Yes, sir. Gentlemen... I'm in grave danger. What kind of danger, Mr. Parker? In danger of being murdered, I'm afraid. Whoever threw that boomerang this afternoon intended me to be the victim. How do you figure that? I had announced earlier that I meant to take a walk. I knew I'd be followed. How did you know it, Mr. Parker? Because one of the guests who's staying here this weekend is determined to get hold of my Maria Teresa Tala. Is that that $10,000.50 piece you were telling me about, Bob? Yes. Yeah. So you figure somebody would murder you for a $10,000 hunk of lead? No, I can't buy that, Mr. Parker. There's easier ways than that to get dough. Ah, you don't understand, Inspector Denton. You, Miss Mathis, in fact, collectors of all types, become fanatics. Oh. They'd go to any length to acquire a rare specimen. Yes, that's true, Inspector. The intrinsic value of items can't be considered here. Mr. Parker, why exactly did you put on your act out there in the woods? Was it because you feared that whoever followed you would uh, overhear our conversation? Yes, I was sure of it. I didn't want anyone to know that I was suspicious enough to call the police. Not even your wife? I see what you mean, Drake. Please remember that there was another person present when we discovered my wife beside the body of Sam Jenkins. Yes. Uh, Your wife is uh, considerably younger than you, isn't she, Mr. Parker? Yes. Why? Is she in love with him? I resent that question, Drake. Now we're getting to the real motive. You can leave my personal affairs out of it. I'm sorry, Mr. Parker, but your personal affairs are most important where murder is concerned. By the way, may I see your Maria Teresa Toller? Uh, Yes, of course. I carried it here in my wallet. So that's the reason the thief didn't find it when he knocked you out and ransacked your room, eh? Yes. After today's experience, I'm convinced that whoever is after the teller has figured out that I carry it about my person at all times. So he's got to murder you to get his hands on it. That's right. It is, Drake. Thank you. Oh, yes, this is a collector's item, all right. Who's the dame on it? That's Maria Teresa herself. Oh. The date the teller was minted, 1790, is directly beneath. Well, you seem to know considerable about rare coins yourself, Jake. A minor hobby of mine, Mr. Parker. Look, Inspector, you see the band of pearls in Maria's hair? Why, oh, sure, sure I see them. That band and the clasp on her dress, also made of pearls, is what makes the taller genuine. Isn't that so, Mr. Parker? Yes, it is. <laughs> Drake, you make, uh, you should make numismatology a hobby. I already have one hobby, Mr. Parker, uh-huh. one that takes most of my time. It's murder, which brings us back to the matter at hand. How many guests are staying here with you this weekend? Uh, eight, or rather seven, now that poor Sam is gone. Mm-hmm. And are they all collectors? Well, let's say they're all interested in collecting. Any one of them would like to possess this collar. Exactly. Mr. Parker, I'd like you to invite all your guests out into the lawn immediately. Oh, but look here, what for? I took the trouble to investigate your guests before the inspector and I came down. Mm-hmm. Most of them are independently wealthy. That's why they're interested in collecting rare items. Something to amuse them. 
bats and hunting big game with boomerangs. I get it. We'll let them show us how good they are with those boomerangs, and that'll tell us something, huh? That inspector is going to tell us more than you think, if we're allowed to live that long. We've got to tell him, Money. Don't you see we have? No, Charity, not now. It's too dangerous. Why is it dangerous? Oh, Money, I'm frightened. Oh, Ben, I... Charity, why did you slip away and go down the path after Grant this afternoon? Because I wanted to talk to him. I... I wanted to tell him about us. Oh, you shouldn't have, darling. That's my job. No, it isn't. I'm his wife. What a fool I was to ever believe he loved me. Charity, where were you when... when poor Sam was hit with a boomerang? The what? I... I don't know, Jackie. Monty! Yeah, darling, I only thought... You thought what? Charity, please, don't look at me like that. You thought that I... That I murdered Sam. Of course I don't, darling. I only want to help you. Jesus. I can't believe... I can't believe... Now, see here, Charity, listen to me. You were alone out there in the woods, and so was Grant. You hated him, and everyone knew it. No, but I won't listen. You will listen. Those police are going to ask you questions. They're sure to find out that you're an expert with a boomerang. They're bound to think that you mistook Sam for Grant. I hate you, Mark Oxford. I was a fool to ever listen to your dribble. And you said you were in love with me. I am, believe me, I am, Sharon. If you need help... If I need help? If yours then the kind of love that can attach itself to a murderer? Charity, stop. Now I see your game. Sam was your best friend. You loved him more than you did me. You thought I was jealous of him, and I deliberately... Charity, you're out of your mind. Come back here. Okay, Mr. Marty Oxford. Perhaps I did murder Sam. Wouldn't you like to know? And wouldn't you like to know also what my plans are for you? Drake, I don't like this. After what's happened today, no one's in the mood for playing games. This isn't a game, Mr. Parker. It's deadly serious. And we're not kidding. All right, folks. Who will be the first volunteer? I will. I'm no good at boomerang throwing, but I'll be glad to help you out. Thank you, Osgood. Select your weapon and go ahead. Yeah, one's as good as another. Hand me one, that's right. Yesterday, you were bragging how good you were. Here, take this one. No, thanks. Man's out of style if he doesn't brag in this gathering. Okay, here goes. This is the craziest night throw right around that clump of trees. Here it comes back. <laughs> Too bad. Off about ten feet. Now, there you are, Drake. Does that make me the murderer? The purpose of this experiment, Osgood, is not to identify the murderer. No? No. On the other hand, making a wild throw doesn't prove you innocent either. I don't like this. I'm only trying to cooperate, and you fellas are Thank trying to... Thank you very much, Osgood. Now, will you please step aside and let the next volunteer take over? Who's next, please? Come to me, I'll talk to you like. Thank you, Mrs. Parker. Oh, it's a woman's game, too, eh? My wife is considered an expert at many kinds of games. Are you trying to be subtle, Grant? Please don't. You succeed only in sounding ridiculous. Last you, Charity. I'll not uh, tolerate Would your... you mind throwing the boomerang, Mrs. Parker? No, he... I know. Very well. Watch it! Wow! Hot diggity. Low and fast. The gal's good. Here it comes back. Yes, only it isn't coming back where it should. Uh, Doc Parker! Good heavens! Hurt him on the side of the head. Good heavens, his head. He's not seriously hurt. Well, Mrs. Parker, whoever said you were an expert with the boomerang was either lying or you are being very clever. Oh, no, it was an accident, I swear. Oh, Grant. How does it feel now, Mr. Parker? Well, uh, I'm all right. It's just a nick. Mm. Where's Charity? She's downstairs. She without good? No, she's alone. Mr. Parker, do you think your wife deliberately tried to hit you with that boomerang? Oh, no, no, no. Of course not. It was an accident. But you yourself said she was an expert. Well, she was nervous. She must have been. I I shouldn't have spoken to her the way I did. It, it must have upset her. I see. It would have been much more gallant if Osgood had failed to make a perfect throw, wouldn't it? 
What do you mean? What are you driving at? I'm deeply in love with my wife and she with me. Did I say that you weren't, Mr. Parker? Well, you you implied it. Drink, you're overstepping your authority. I asked you down here because, because I... Because, as you expressed, that you felt you were in grave danger. Mm-hmm. It seems to me, Mr. Parker, that some of that danger has materialized. Ah, nonsense. Uh, well, uh, Drake, uh, do you think that my wife deliberately tried to kill me? Do you? No. I, well... Come, she... come, Parker. Stop pretending. Have you ever known your wife to make such a wild throw with a boomerang? Oh, well, no, I haven't. Well, well, wait a minute. Uh, something did happen once. Oh, so? Well, it's ridiculous to think of. I'm sure it was an accident. Tell me about it. There's not much to tell. I haven't given it a thought since. Uh, once a group of us had gone to Africa to hunt tigers. Oh. And what happened? Nothing. That is, Charity and I were out one day alone with a native guide. We saw one of the beasts crouching in a tree. Charity made a throw and missed. The guide had to shoot the tiger with a high-powered rifle. Hmm. And what happened to the boomerang? Why, it... It barely missed striking me. Ah, but this is absurd. I'm sure it was an accident. Your story is absurd, Mr. Parker, but not for the reasons you suggest. Oh, come in, Inspector. How's Parker? He's doing very nicely. Now, look here, Drake. I want you to explain that remark you just made. In a moment, Mr. Parker, in a moment. Inspector, have you talked to any of the guests? Yeah, I talked to them all. You know, Bart, it's a funny thing. What is I got a feeling that most of these people hate each other. All this double talk they do is an act. They don't mean it. Now you two listen to me. I won't have you talking about my guests like that. I'm sorry, Mr. Parker. We've a murder to solve. Go on, Inspector. Well, the way I get it figured is this. These people haven't got enough to do. They've all got more money than they can get rid of. They spend their time collecting things and big game hunting and being mean to each other. Nice work, Inspector. I think you're right. A murder on the side gives them a new lease on life, something unusual and exciting. Yeah. I think any one of them could have committed that murder. Blast it! You're not going to get away with such talk. I'll send you over to the police. Relax, Mr. Parker, <laughs> relax. Inspector Danton is all the police that are necessary to solve this crime. But well, what do you mean? I mean that the guilty party has been painfully obvious in his mistakes. We know positively who it was that murdered Sam Jenkins. <laughs> If we know who it was, murdered Sam Jenkins, why don't we arrest the guy? Well, it would be much easier if the murderer came to us than if we went to him. Don't you think so, Inspector? No. No? No. If he comes to us, he'll come with homicidal ideas. That's exactly what I want, Inspector. If he attempts to murder us, then we'll be positive he's guilty, won't we? Positive? Yeah. Uh, Say, wait a minute. I thought you said you were positive. I did, Inspector, and I am. But I want to be able to prove the person's guilt once we decide to make an arrest. Well, I'll be, uh... Look, Bart, sometimes, boy, you wear me down. Oh, I'm sorry, Inspector. Yeah. But two hours ago, you announced that you knew who murdered Jenkins. Where are we going now? We're going to trap the murderer. We're going to trap... Jump and Judas, Bart... Let me in on the deal, will you? Yes, you bet I will, Inspector, but uh, here we are. What's this? Grant Parker's trophy room. Where'd you get the key? Parker gave it to me. Huh. Must be a light switch here, so... Yeah, here it is. Yeah, and beauty. Look at that. Yes, quite a display of trophies and equipment. Uh-oh. Well, Inspector, that does it. Huh? What does what? Here's the rack where the boomerangs are kept. Let's take a look at them, Inspector. Hey, look, Bart. Hmm? Are you going to let me in on this, or aren't you? Am I a cop or what? Quiet, quiet. Huh? What's the matter? Don't look now, Inspector. But there's a man peering in at us through the window directly behind where we're standing. Behind me? Uh, yeah. A man? How do you know? I can see his reflection in this glass case. My gosh, you're right. Hey. He's opening the window. And he has a rifle, a yeah. high-powered, big-game rifle. Well, uh, what are we going to do? Are we, we going to just stand here and be knocked off like play pigeon? No, 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 wait a minute. Wait until he gets his rifle leveled. Huh? Then I'll throw this handful of boomerangs at him. Well, why wait till then? I'm sweating already. No, that we wait. It 
will take him a few seconds to detach himself from that cumbersome rifle, and we can use those seconds, Inspector. I get it, but I don't like it. Hey, he's leveling the rifle now. Yes, and he has his finger crooked around the trigger. I can't stand it any longer. All right, Inspector, jump! Yeah! Come on, Inspector, after him. I'm right with you, son. <laughs> There he goes, Inspector. Yeah, I see him. Stop! Stop or I'll shoot! <laughs> I guess he didn't hear you. Well, he'll hear this. Too bad, Inspector. He ducked behind the garage. Why, that dirty... He's shooting at us! Yeah, I suppose we have to expect that kind of treatment from a murderer. Have you got to be funny at a time like this? Uh, there he goes. Yeah, and this time he's out the open. Take your time, Inspector. Yeah, I can't miss. <laughs> Good work. Your aim is improving, Inspector. I only hit him in the leg. He dropped his rifle when he fell. Come on, let's have a look. Oh, jumps in Judas. Look who it is. Are you surprised, Inspector? Grant Parker. Hmm. Say, I thought he was the guy we were supposed to protect. He was and still is, Inspector. Here comes his gang of alleged friends from the house to gloat over what they probably hope will be another murder. <laughs> Certainly good to be back at the old lamplighter's club after all that excitement. Uh, How about a game of chess before we turn in, hmm, Bart? Excellent idea. Well, Inspector. Yeah? Well, don't you want to know? You've been sitting there for 15 minutes trying to act some concern. Oh, is that so? Mm -hmm. Okay. How'd you guess? Uh, it wasn't guesswork, Inspector. It was knowing certain facts. I suppose so. What facts? Facts about the Maria Teresa Toller that Parker had. It was a phony. Well, well, well. You see, in the first place, the date on it was 1790. All tallers from the Matsura Island, Inspector, carry the original date of minting, which is 1780. My, my. Also, the band of pearls in Maria's hair contained exactly eight pearls, but there were ten in Parker's coin. How can you argue with a guy like that? You see, Inspector, Parker knew that Osgood was in love with his wife and she with him. So he used the coin as bait to get Osgood down here, because Osgood is a collector of rare coins. So Parker decided to become a collector of corpses, eh? Right, Inspector. And Parker thought it was Osgood who had followed him on his walk this afternoon. He had to throw that boomerang hurriedly because he heard us coming through the brush. When he discovered his mistake, <laughs> well, it made him a little mad. No regrets, eh? Nice people. Plus, he saw a chance to get back at his wife by letting me think she deliberately tried to kill him when she made that wild throw this afternoon. But of course, you knew he was lying, eh? Yes, Inspector. I did. How? Because Parker said he and Mrs. Parker had hunted tigers in Africa. Well? There are no tigers in Africa, Inspector. All the tigers known to exist are in Asia. Well, I'll be a monkey's dear departed ant. Hey, Bart. Yes, Inspector. I can't wait. Tell me. All right, Inspector. Murder is my hobby. Uh -huh.